Hello all you beautiful people, welcome back to the play. We are here back in Neuromod Division, all the way back at the game. The game's intro, opening thingy. I'm trying to do a bit of a tricky parkour segment to skip a... Skip a um, rather perplexing use of keys and hacking and whatnot. Especially because I don't really have the resources to hack. This phantom up there is kind of spooking me. Uh, he's, just, he's right where I'm gonna go, and it too, so I really should deal with this situation while it's still going on. Was there a zoom button in this game? I s there is a zoom button. Oh, well, with the psychoscope, we have a zoom function. Was there a zoom thing without that? yoo -hoo. See, I would like to get a sneak attack on him. There we go. Now he's like, what the heck was that noise? Oh, up there? Die! Well, it wasn't a perfect fight, but... Uh, I think me... Uh, Using that uh, sneak attack on him worked really well. Ooh, I forgot. I always forget to use these uh, weapon upgrades when I get them. Silly me. Um, guess I should increase the range now that I'm shooting the golden gun so afar. And the shotgun, which is my other little favorite. Uh, recoil, I guess. We got a bunch of guns modded. Okay. Someone's stomping around somewhere. Nope, it's just your friend here, Bob the Phantom. Don't mind me. So what I'm trying to do is use these Transstar letters to run onto that lamp installation there and use that to jump over there. I, I've determined that that's going to be the only way I can really get up there because this this place is locked off. And that's where the volunteer recording room or whatever it is is, so I can try to go there and figure out how to track down the fake Mitchell. Wow! Whew! Thank goodness. Really helped out that I took a break to um, <laughs> between between episodes to come back to this with a fresh mind. That's just an object. Volunteer testing. Uh, it's level two, and there is no key code available. Damn. You guys aren't making this easy. I really want to catch that guy. He's the guy who led to Abigail and Danielle's death, so... Uh... Ooh. There's a whole lot of you fellas. Helped him out a little bit with a bullet there. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Stun gun, eh? Oh, this guy's a volunteer. The poor guy doesn't even have a uh, name on his corpse. It's just a number. Maybe that's what they use as an explanation for all these unnamed phantoms. It, it's a bit of a... Uh, a bit of a... Um, uh, how do you say? A... Uh, a bit of a um like a little fault in the game's logic that um there's so many phantoms in this game who are unnamed because uh, it seems like there's like a finite number of uh staff in this place okay can i fit through here do i have to mimic myself oh no i can actually just carry this cabinet well, that really goes flying. I need to test that on a phantom sometime. See, like, how much damage me chucking a huge box at a phantom does. That would be hilarious if I could just kill one with a single throw of a box. Uh, yeah, so I guess maybe maybe that would be their excuse for how... Um, how there seem to be way more phantoms than previous crew members is saying that there's the, all these bunch of these numbered volunteers... This looks promising. This looks like 
This might lead into volunteer testing. It's locked. What's that now all about? Oh, oh, interesting. The rafters up here. Which means with a little bit of work, I could have tried and climb up here. Also, that plastic tubing is just floating in the air. That looked a bit silly. There's a dead guy up here. Junior Bookman. And what is your story, buddy? How did you end up up here? Poor guy. Dang it, this did not take me where I wanted it to take me. I was hoping we could just drop in into, uh... Dang it, I was hoping there'd be a hole up there. Just drop in into the volunteer testing room and, uh... Get in there, but... Everything's just going wrong now. And that ma maintenance access panel's locked, too. Hmm. No holes in the ceiling either, which I could use to climb even further that aways. I guess the only reason this place exists is you can use it as another way to get up here, apart from that tricky route I just used to uh, jump my way up here using, using the steps and that uh, lamp there. Well, now I am quite annoyed, because I really don't... Like, they always, they're always touting about uh, how you can... Uh, multiple solutions to objectives, so... Oh, wait a second, I'm trying to get to volunteer quarters, which is... According to this, is this way, not volunteer testing. Okay. Well, in any case, it's a bit of a shame that you can't get in there with any other way, since they're always touting how you can use... Uh, Use uh, di multiple solutions to solve problems in these types of games. Uh, uh, unless, of course, there is still some way to get in there that I am currently failing to figure out. Volunteer quarters. Yes, here we go. Oh, we got the code for that. I don't know where we got that from, but sure. Wow, that's that's dark. That's like seriously dark in here. Oh, golly. What's with the big spooks in this room? Hmm. Banana pudding? Don't mind if I do. That sounds delicious. Some more pudding. Damn, I am lucky. <gasps> Look at this. Pinball. Some sort of ninja-themed pinball game. No, that's a rat. Well, I guess that's a rat too. I thought that was like a there's a ninja there with his head and he's got like a little headband there the, the, or the little eyeslit there. That's like his arm. He's doing some sort of kung fu thing. I guess it's just a rat though, because there's a big rat thing right there. Dang it! I, I honestly thought that was a ninja. But there seem to be some sort of weird rats near as I can tell. No, oh, this is actually. The game's been a bit spooky at times. This is probably by far the spookiest the game's been yet. Well, a med kit. Don't mind if I do. A recycler charge. I've been wondering about that. Uh, I don't know. It... it <laughs> It says it's a dangerous prototype, so I'm wondering if you're supposed to use those as grenades. That's the one thing I've been wondering, kind of, is there's no grenades in this game so far. But maybe that's like the game's grenade. Items confiscated in latest shakedown. John, I take this stuff pretty seriously. I've already alerted Alex to the nature of this contraband. We're taking V0106537 out of here. Cigars and booze are one thing, but we can't have volunteers stockpiling stolen recycler charges. Recycle, sir. That's a spelling mistake. Oh well. What do you think he plans to do? 
Interesting. Was that uh... That's the same guy. He was stockpiling recycler charges. He was planning something evil from the get-go. Something on that side. I might have to shrink myself into a little thingy-majig and sneak through, or I can just use this maintenance panel. Doesn't look like there's any mimics in here. Maybe I will dare to take off the psychoscope. Well, now we're in here. Whatever here is. Oh, is this maybe where that locked place was? I guess we'll, we'll find out in a second, won't we? Hmm. This is kind of a tough jump. Well, I sort of made it. No, actually I have no clue where we are now, but I... Th Ooh. Oh dear. Let's test the recycler charge thing as a grenade. Just... Oh, there's an evil, there's an evil, uh, evil, uh, science operator. Interesting, they are, they do act kind of like, uh, grenades. Yes. Oh. Now we're in fabrication, okay. There's a turret somewhere. I'm a bit scared now. Where's this turret? Me and the turrets, we're not exactly friends anymore. Okay, that's that's cool. That's cool to know now that... Uh, that's what those uh, recycler charges are really for. I thought they were just... Uh, I thought they were just... Um, for creating like equipment, but they actually act as grenades too. Like I did damage to that one guy. Let's see. Reduces damage taken from crashing during flight. I mean, sure. Blows that would otherwise kill you, leave you with one health instead. Oh, that's really nice. Thank you. Regenerate stamina more quickly. Sure. And I could still get a couple more slots if I really wanted to. I mean, I've only got six so far, so. Anything new here? Shotgun critical. Do I use a psycho shock? I don't, what's what's that blast thing I use? Is it a psycho shock? I don't remember. Uh, oh, increases weapon damage to marked enemies. That's useful. Well, I got two of these psycho shock things. I don't need both of them. Let's put the shotgun critical, since I so. Oh dear, speaking of marked enemies. Let that thing get to. You know what? I don't care. I don't want to... I don't really want to sneak around in uh, this area right now. Hey there, Rich. You don't... No, you're not looking so good. I want to get back to the volunteer quarters. This is this is off my the beaten path. I'm not, quite honestly, I'm already quite far away from the main quest. I mean, we're so close to, to like, solving everything. We're gonna go see Alex. And he's gonna tell us, I guess, stuff, hopefully. Unless it's another trap, which would be obnoxious. I'm not even gonna complain about the game being like, oh yeah, the grenades are actually the recycler charges. That's like really clever. Like if you're paying attention to your items, you realize, huh, there's a dangerous item. This might actually work to do damage. Not to mention it's just cool that um, the grenades serve a dual function. They create items. I am not the same man I was two years ago, Alexei Petrov told me. Telos 1 has a way of changing you. 
rebuilding you into a better person. Petrov, along with three other members of the Menshevik movement, were arrested and convicted of the 2029 Red Square attacks, which killed 32 people. All four men were sentenced to death. However, just two weeks from his execution, Petrov was approached by tech giant Transtar. The company offered him a second chance. As part of a new program called the Transtar Volunteer Initiative, Petrov was given the opportunity to work as a human test subject in exchange for a commuted sentence. They tell me, come up to our space station, work with us on top secret science projects, give back to the world from which you have taken so much. So I did, Petrov said. I'm glad I did. Petrov isn't allowed to talk about the work he did on Talos 1, but there's no denying he's a changed man. The former secondary school dropout is now working on a doctorate in astrophysics, and says he hopes to work for Transtar one day. That sounds like a propaganda text from our friends here. Oh, another volunteer. So they're all criminals, basically, these volunteers. Of course they are, you, you know they would be with the whole numbering thing. Well, I do appreciate the idea that they're being rehabilitated, so that's good. Surprise attack on Mimic to Mimic. Mimic to Mimic sounds really dumb, if we're perfectly honest. Uh, so hold on now. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to... I'm trying to find a security station in here, but... Oh, the power is... Man, they are making this difficult. I, I, I mean, I basically found the security station. I think it's that place I was in, but... Damn if it isn't powered down. Where am I going to find the power? Luca is no contrabandist. I don't know why he has the goods that he has. I can show you where he keeps them. But fair is fair. You want his goods? You look other way with me. That certainly sounds mysterious. Random dim sum. That's kind of funny. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna find the power in... What the? Wow. That bookcase went flying. Or was it a pile of towels, actually? I think that's what it was. Oh, cool. Um... Uh, Workout place. Ow. Okay, you. Hooray. Oh, it says what their weaknesses are, and it is a Q-beam. I observed in a previous episode that they really didn't seem to like being shot with the Q-beam, but there you go. Oh, this is a... This seems to be a sleep area. All right, then. And power door. Huh. How am I going to get power to this place? Power control terminal. I mean, that sounds like a good place to start. Uh, yuck, yuck, yuck. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that was easy. All I had to do was press a button. I thought I'd need to... Oh. Of course. I see. Hmm. What is this? Why is there a... This field here? Okay, well, I'm not gonna go walking on electrified flooring if I can't help it. Well, I can't help it. I really, really thought that there would be some sort of way to sneak a boot here, but... Uh... See, I could get this power. Rapidly change position up to six meters away and leave behind a double that fools enemies for four seconds. If for nothing else, that sounds like the blink skill from a Dishonored. So I could honestly just give that a go. Super thermal, that sounds fun. Create a phantom. If that's a crazy. We can get the power, which lets us get a friendly phantom if we use that. Okay, well. Ow! The floor is not quite lava, but. Uh, 
There's a poltergeist in here. Okay. Especially with that music playing now. Okay. Where are you? Oh, man. I kind of expected this, given how spooky this area was. I was... Oh my god, that's creepy. It's like right nearby. Good try, my friend. Good try. What's uh Oh wow, he got rid of the goo, like all fast like. That's him shut down. Did he not leave Typhon stuff for me to loot? The music's still playing, which is making me really uncomfortable. Let's have some, uh, uh, some food. Hmm, look at this jelly deal thing. Man, I've got a lot of... I should probably turn that into organic matter at some point, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Now then, the volunteer security station. Oh, why do you know? There's our lovely volunteer, and he is still alive. He's in the Talos One Bridge. Okay, as it just happens, that's the way I'm leaving, so... Let's go find where he's hiding, yeah? After that, I guess we're gonna go to the Arboretum and find, uh... Find, um... Yeah, blah, blah, Alex. We'll get the final key. Blow up the station. Sounds easy. Oh, boy. I, I guess... I, I'm, I don't know. Maybe this game is a bit grim. In a way. So I guess maybe it just might turn out that there is no other good solution than just to blow us and the Typhon up. Of course, that's still, like, just delaying the inevitable. The implication is that the Typhon came from, like, space somewhere, because we ran into them when we went into space. Whoa, what is all that junk flying out into space? What's going on outside? Also, is there still a million monsters here? Well, there's a new random mimic here. That's, that's something. Uh, okay, uh, there's the Harbor Aiden. that's not gonna, that's not gonna help me right now. I need to find, uh, I need to find this little guy. Oh, the bridge, not the lobby, the bridge. Interesting, that's a place we haven't been to yet, as you might recall. I read the lobby the first time, but okay, we're going into the bridge then. I need to get to that elevator before all the awful monsters get me, of which there were several of last time, such as this guy. And that guy. What the? Am I... What is beating me up? Is it those... Oh, that's cool. With our uh, with our really high regeneration, those cystoids aren't like doing anything for me anymore. I, I think that was cystoids. All right, here we go. Goodbye, you freak shows. <laughs> oh, that's a nice area over there. Wonder if you can go there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess. The bridge really is the last area we haven't been to in the map. I wouldn't be surprised if Alex is going to turn out that he is there. New monsters anywhere? Uh, all clear for now. Oh man, the Arboretum was a monster mash, speaking of those, when we were here last time. Oh boy. Let's hope this all goes right. Also, do I have any suit repair kits on me? Just a quick check now. Uh, suit repair kit. 
I got a lot of suit repair. When did I get so many suit repair kits? Well, it's all good. Yeah, let's figure out where Alex is. We are, we're already in his office. The guy wasn't there. And I think he's in the Arboretum, because I remember looking at one of those uh, security stations, and it's saying that he's in the Arboretum. Uh, that, that's my memory. He could have moved by now, of course. Although, how exactly he's going to survive against the freaking thriller music video that is going on over here. Oh yeah, great. A weaver. Of course there needs to be a weaver here on top of every other enemy. <laughs> I'm gonna get to level four. Oh, his office has a secret shaft thing. Okay. Could just mess with them using this. Ow, I'm being electrocuted. What is that noise? Hey, you know what I could do? This is something the guys aren't expecting. That was a pretty awful toss. Well, I can take care of this phantom. I think that was the phantom taken care of. Now, where's my... Ow! Oh, shit! Okay. Well, my last chance chipset activated, but uh, it didn't save me from the next cystoid. Crime, and it... It would almost be easier for me to take the long way out of this place. Let's try this one more time. Where's my Q beam? Did they take any damage from that? I don't think they did. Does that do damage on enemies? No, oh, that's him gone. Excuse me. Let that weaver get to- Oh wow, that weaver pieced out. He was like, I've been Q-beamed! Ah, wow, they've been busy with this, uh, this goop of theirs. How many bullets have I still got? 16! Okay, I'm actually doing okay. Ow! Oof. Oh my god. Ugh. Thankfully, my last chance saved me, so that, that's something. I'm gonna use one of my med kits. Well, that weaver! <laughs> I do not want to be here! I need to figure out how to get to Alex's office the smartest way. I can't. I'm, I'm discombobulated by this. Number of enemies. Doctor Igwe, are you approaching the crew facilities? If so, this is a sentimental request, but my collection, the gallery of photos the others used to laugh at, each picture is a decryption key to a set of neural data, connectomes, the guests who came to the station. Among them, Leitner, the pianist, is is dead now. We can't let those skills be lost. It's all that's left of them. Please, Morgan, if you can, I would be grateful. I'm sending you an audio file that will open this safe in my room. Jeez, okay. Your I mean, I guess... Whoa, not on the speaker, you idiot! I'm surrounded by monsters! <laughs> so that, that sounded like really garbage play. I don't think we need to save that skill. 
Maybe I just don't have an appreciation for the pianizing. 